Hello folks, welcome to the Geneva Motor Show and we are here with Tata Motors, the stalls right behind us and the reason we are here, well, can you spot it? Can you spot it? Yes, there it is in the background there and we are going to jump to it right away and well, that is the new hatchback from Tata Motors, the one that we've heard about for so long as you can see the name there, Altros, which is basically kind of a short form of the Albatross, the bird's name, and this is dubbed as the Geneva edition, as you can see on the nameplate. Uh, basically, this is a sub 4 meter hatchback that will rival the likes of Hyundai's Elite i20, Maruti Suzuki's Baleno, and in terms of dimensions, yes, it is just under 4 meters long. In terms of width, it is on par with the competition. In terms of wheelbase, a quick look at the spec sheet shows us that it is uh, just a little under what the Baleno has. The number here for the wheelbase is 2500 uh, mm, 2501 mm, that's specifically the wheelbase here. Uh, so not the longest wheelbase, but the length is 3988 millimeters. And uh, well, in terms of design, I've got to say that this looks pretty striking. I, uh, what I like is like the sash you see here on the door. It's like what we've seen on the Nexon. Uh, it's been carried over here, even on the Altros. And uh, if I just turn that way, you can see that kink specifically near the A pillar, where the wing mirror is, that uh, really stands out, right, for uh, for the Altros. Over here, it's uh, riding on some uh, handsome looking alloy wheels. We've got 17-inch uh, rims here on the Altros. You can zoom in, zoom out. Looks pretty good there. And uh, if you look at the side view of the face from this angle it looks particularly aggressive and you can see how the headlamps are stacked you can see that the there's a projector lamp over there on the outside there's a regular halogen here even for the parking light and down here you have the fog so yeah and the grill is of course what we've come to see on Tata's that hexagonal mesh kind of styling but it's kind of evolving now around the car the elements that we've seen the humanity grill etc <laughs> Uh, the design elements are evolving on the newer cars and well the wing mirror design there certainly looks uh, the way that it comes out of the door looks particularly attractive now we're going to jump in and take a look at what it's like from the inside as well because i'll just talk about this here you look at the window line and the way it flows into the rear doors it certainly makes the cabin feel very airy just look at it from here you can see how uh, open it feels and we're gonna jump over from the other side and take a look here as to how it's going before we, excuse me oh, just one second yeah, sure. thank you yeah we're just gonna step in here yes sir. yeah there you can see design elements that we're fairly familiar with no? Looks quite premium. You look at this, this is a plastic finish in silver here on the dash. And there's a manual gearbox. And what we've seen on the specs, it's got a 1.2 liter petrol. This is the one from the Tigor, it's a three cylinder. It's got 75 kilowatts, which is, I mean, same state of tune. Uh, no mention of a diesel right now. Uh, what we've been told is that there is a diesel being prepared but whether it will come to the market. Now here's one of the distinctive bits about the design. You can see that the door handle is up here. Yeah, and we step into the back. Well, here you can see the roof lining is, wow, that's quite premium. I wonder if that will come into production. These are all production cars that Tata is showing here at the Geneva uh, show and uh, they will come into production soon this is expected to come in in a couple of months and here you can see that there is rear aircon vents as well and if you look at knee room here the front seat is set a fair bit back there's still decent amount of knee room here on offer and look at the door handles nice chrome finish i mean silver finish but they're plastic bits height adjustable seat belts also to be seen here so yeah I mean, nice storage spaces up here on the roof. Yeah. You can see that as it adjusts. And that's another angle of that. Yeah, let's take a look at the boot now because, as we said, this is a bit 
smaller in terms of the wheelbase. We've seen that the cabin itself feels uh, spacious enough and not as much legroom as what we've seen in the Baleno. But like we said, the wheelbase is smaller than the Baleno. This is just a quick first impression. So we're going to have to wait until we see it finally. One sec, how do we open the boot here? Uh, yeah, okay, found it. It's, it's hidden in under here. Yes, there we go. Well, there you can see. That's the boot. It's, I'm gonna put my hand in here. That's uh, how far it goes in, how deep it goes in. So there we go. That's a quick first look of the Tata Motors Altros. Promising looking hatchback for the large hatch under sub four meters of course i mean sub four meter and uh, well i'm gonna pop back onto the screen now right so what do you think of the altros it's there in the background i'm gonna keep it there quick first impressions for me uh, when it comes to the altros well it is as impressive as i thought it would be in terms of space i thought you know being a tata in some in some ways yes it's certainly hitting the mark in terms of the sense of spaciousness, you know, it feels like an airy cabin, but right now this cabin is like fairly finished in black. So let's see how it is when it comes on sale in India, which is going to be in the next few months. This is going to come in pretty soon, right? And uh, the thing is, right now we've seen it with the petrol engine, the three cylinder, 1.2 liter three cylinder petrol engine, it's 75 kilowatts of power. Diesel has not been mentioned over here right now because in a year's time, when PS6 norms come in, diesels will become really expensive. So while Tata is preparing a diesel, whether it, when and whether it comes is still uh, not clear, right? So thanks for watching this. Let us know what you think of the Altros. There it is right behind me. And uh, let us know in the comments and we'll bring you the other cars from the Tata Stall here and from the Geneva Motor Show on Zigwheels.